Right, there we go. Still two male lions. As I said, we're going to be spending an extended period here. And, uh, well, they did sit up briefly. Jandre said something. I forget what it was. I try and forget most of what Jandre says. And uh, one of them took great offence, sat up and stuck his tongue out at, at Jandre. I'm not joking. He did really sit up and stick his tongue out. I'm not sure if it was actually at Jandre or not. It was probably not. I think it was just that he... Um, has his tongue stuck between his two front teeth. It was your mention of breakfast. You think it was my mention of breakfast and licking his lips. Anyway, they looked up towards the herds there, and uh, I'm hoping that they're going to get up and go and perhaps hunt them. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, a nice question from Sir Jake. You're wondering if the umbrella-shaped trees here, like most of those Balanites trees that you're looking at there, are shaped that way because of the way animals eat them. That's an interesting question, and I'm going to say no, I don't think so. I think predominantly they are not like that. I think that they are predominantly probably that shape in order to avoid being browsed. So, yes, perhaps they'd have a slightly lower canopy, but you know, Sir Jake, I haven't actually spent enough time watching them being browsed to know, so I I don't think so. I think there are a greater number of browsers in a place like Juma, and I think that if they were having that kind of effect on the trees, they would see it there, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And so I think that they are probably just genetically predisposed to growing like that. The crown of a tree spreads in order to grant its foliage the maximum access to sunlight, which of course allows it then to produce more sugar through the process of photosynthesis. And so a spreading crown is a wise choice from you know any tree's point of view. And these are small leaf trees, and so I think the spreading crown is just to kind of get as much light onto the photosynthetic parts of the plant as possible. That said, yes, of course, there will be some animals that browse them, but if you think about the height of these trees, if you think about the shape of them, um, they are not... You do see browse lines on trees, and this is what we sort of, Sir Jake's getting at, but a browse line will normally be much lower down than that. It'll normally be at the level of, say, a goat or an impala, for example, and you see it in community lands, especially in very arid areas, and you'll find there's a browse line around trees, and yes, you do see it to a certain extent in a wild buff area, especially during a drought, but it's normally shorter animals that get at them, because of course the tall animals that would get at these trees here are elephants and giraffe. And elephants, you can't, you, if you grow out or grow above where they can get to, they just push the tree over. Giraffe obviously eat from the top, they don't eat from underneath, and so no, I think you'll find that these are largely shaped just by genetics. That said, I haven't read anything that says that, so I'm just thinking on the basis of my experience out here. Thank you very much, Sir Jake, for that question. Now, Mary Kay, you want to know if the lions are sleeping deeply or lightly. Let's do an experiment, given that we've been talking about science. I'm going to clap lightly, not very loudly, and let's see if they wake up. I don't mind waking them up, because they'll go back to sleep again. So, there you go. <laughs> They're sleeping relatively lightly. That was quite a nice experiment, wasn't it? They'll go back to sleep now. They, like most cats, will sleep pretty lightly. Lions will sleep the most deeply of any cats, of course. But this two, these two are, I think, sleeping relatively lightly because I think they're hungry. I think they're thinking about something to eat and because they're young males. So they don't have the same confidence or, um, what should we say, they don't have the same... Yeah, they don't have the same confidence in their territories that a big male lion would have. They are constantly under threat, and they need to move big distances. And they are, ooh, I'd say, about five miles from where we last saw them, which, in the context of this area, especially during the migration season, is a very big distance for lions to have moved. So that's why they won't sleep quite as soundly as some. I wasn't clapping very loudly there, and I have done that before with a uh, sort of sleeping pride of lions like the Inkahumas. Don't even look up. But these guys will just be slightly less confident, and I think they're hungry.